Okay, so what is in the bucket? I've got bubble buckets here, but what are in them? Here we have a net pot inside of the bucket. We've got water inside of there. Plain old bucket there. Take the bucket and make a hole in it. As so. Take some air line, shove it in the bucket, connect it to an air pump. So now you got your hole in your bucket and you got your line hooked up to your air pump and going into your bucket. And what do you hook up to that line after that? It's up to you. There's many different shapes of many different types of air stones they got here. This one kind of sucks, that one sucks too. That one pretty much sucks. These ones are pretty good here to get them at your hydroponic store. These ones tend to just leak out of one side or wherever they didn't seal it, right? These are good too, and these air ones right here for bubble buckets are really nice. So let's grab the sucker here. We'll attach it real quick. All right, so here's the air stone. Making a nice little bundle of air there. So you can see these little drips are going up and down here, little droplets of water. That's what's actually gonna feed this plant here. So if you take a basket, like this one here, slap it on top, you can see in there that the, I'm not sure if you can see it on the screen, but little droplets of water are shooting up and down. You want it to be not touching the net, if it's touching the net, then you're going to rot your stem up in there. Right when you transplant at the first beginning, you do want it to touch the water, but after you see some roots come out, you drop that water down about a quarter inch, maybe a half an inch. You can drop it further if you want. Just make sure you're not going to rot your plant and that the bubbles are able to break around the bottom of it and actually wet that net pot for you. Another example would be the hydrotin. It's a bigger one, it's a 10 inch basket. So this is what's sitting in there. These are expanded clay pellets. I'll show you the baggie. Here is the bag. This Gold label. Make sure you wash your balls. You don't want them dirty when they're in the water. Get clay water. That's some of them at work. Here's a, this bucket has holes in the bottom so that we can wash the clay typically. Now this right here is deep water culture, which is exactly identical to this system here, like these guys are in. Only they're running three inch net pots and they're inside of a big container like this. This one's empty but it's got the holes for putting the air stones in it still and same exact idea. Bucket containers. Both of them are deep water culture. Okay, so as far as we can tell, this top drip system has top, definitely been out outperforming the bubble buckets, you know, but on the other end of it, you gotta keep making sure that the manifold does not clog. Today, earlier, we had a, one of these off, and just to check the drip, and nothing was working, so we had to slap the crap out of that thing. Other than that, it's a great system, but with the organics we used and stuff, it tends to clog these up. Now they produce a much better, but if this drop, which you actually saw in another video, the one right before this wasn't even dripping too much, starts to slow down, then these things go too crap. Now look at that thing go. So, like I said, they work great if you don't let them fail. These things are working great too. Lots less to go wrong, just the air pump.